My husband used to say all the time, to become a student of history is to become a Catholic. I didn't know what he was talking about, but it sounded pretty because he's got an English accent. Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Dinesha, Catholic commentator from Sydney, Australia. In today's video, we will watch a clip of Candace Owens giving a speech at a Turning Point USA event during which one of the participants asked her of what convinced her to become a Catholic. She eloquently explains that one of the main reasons for her conversion was her study of Christian history, which clearly pointed to the Catholic Church as the Church of Early Christians sustained over 2000 years. Her experience strongly reflects what St. John Henry Newman once said, to be deep in history is to cease being a Protestant. Let's listen to what Candace Owen says and then we will analyze this quote. Hi Candace, I'm hey. so, I love you so much. I love you too. And I'm so good to see your face. Um, my question for you is, I have a lot of my friends here at Turning Point are Catholic, surprisingly, to me at least. Um, and I find myself just being engulfed by them slowly. So I've been questioning my own denomination. So I'm curious, what was the uh, turning point for you in your move from a Protestant denomination to more of a Catholic, uh, Catholicism? Yeah, great. that's a great question. Especially in America, it's a great question because America is a unique country that, you know, you go to other countries in Europe and there's just like a few, it's like, you know, Catholic, Anglican, you know, in America, there's just so many Protestant divisions. Um, and so it's interesting. My husband used to always say to me, I wasn't someone that believed that you should, you know, convert to a faith because you got married. So my husband was Catholic when we got married and I remained Protestant because I don't, like, if you're going to convert, you convert because you believe something. That's, that's my personal belief. Um, my husband used to say all the time, to become a student of history is to become a Catholic. I didn't know what he was talking about, but it sounded pretty because he's got an English accent. And then I started getting into history and um, things got really interesting for me. I started noticing some things and um, I realized that America is a very young country and because we're a very young country, um, some really bad people knew that they could kind of condition Christians to keep dividing and dividing and dividing amongst themselves and to make it become sort of this my truth, my truth, my truth, we're different from here. And then the more I studied history, there were so many things that were just weird. Like um, I started studying. Just like Candace experience, it holds true for many Protestants who have converted to Catholicism that dwelling into Christian history and studying the Church Fathers convinced them that, that the early Christians were unquestionably Catholic and also found out that every teaching they believed in is upheld by the Catholic Church even today. However, this brings us to an important question regarding the relationship between church history and Protestantism. If studying history always leads to abandoning Protestantism, then how do we explain Protestant historians of the early church and those who have read the church fathers deeply yet remain Protestant? Are they all dishonest, self-deceiving or unable to understand what they read? In order to answer that question, we really need to understand what the quote actually means. So let's read the paragraph from which the quote is extracted. Quoting St. John Henry Newman, let them consider that if they can criticize history, the facts of history certainly can retort upon them. And this one thing at least is certain. Whatever history teaches, whatever it omits, whatever it exaggerates or extenuates, whatever it says and unsays, at least the Christianity of history is not Protestantism. If ever there were a safe truth, it is this. And Protestantism has ever felt it so. I do not mean that every writer on Protestant side has felt it, but Protestantism as a whole feels it and has felt it. This is shown in the determination already referred to of dispensing with the historical Christianity altogether and of forming Christianity from the Bible alone. Men never would have put it aside unless they had despaired of it. To be deep in history is to cease to be a Protestant. The first point Newman makes is that some Protestants believe that there isn't enough historical evidence to challenge ideas about Christianity because its teachings are so mixed and inconsistent that studying history seems futile for understanding Christian beliefs. So in short, he's saying that Protestants disregard Christian history. The second point Newman makes is that because our Protestant friends cannot find historical support for their beliefs and doctrines, they have to insist that Bible alone is the sole foundation of Christian faith and practice because they can interpret the Bible however they want and call it Christian teaching. The final point Newman emphasizes is that studying the history of Christianity may or may not lead one to Catholicism, but certainly one cannot remain a Protestant after dwelling into a Christian history as there is no historical basis for Protestantism or its teachings. The early Christians, if they were alive today, would not even recognize most Protestant churches as Christian. So to summarize, St. John Henry Newman's quote, to be deep in history is to cease being a Protestant, does not imply a direct cause and effect relationship between reading Christian history and leaving Protestantism. Rather, it's an observation about Protestantism's historical roots compared to the overall history of Christianity. Newman isn't claiming that Christian history is exclusively Catholic, but he's indeed suggesting that it is definitely isn't Protestantism. 
I hope this video was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. God bless you.